Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. Stand by for my cornerstone tips on how to achieve striper trolling success. First thing you need when you go out trolling, you need a rod with a sensitive tip, seven to eight feet long, and you need a line counter reel filled with 30 to 65 pound braid. This is my light trolling outfit. It's a Cousins graphite rod paired with a Abu Garcia line counter 5500 reel and I've got that full of 30 pound braided line. The rod needs a sensitive tip. Let me show you the tip on this rod. I'm going to aim it right at the camera. Notice how, how sensitive that tip is. Hopefully you can see that. Why do I need a sensitive tip? The rod's going to be in a holder and when the fish hit it they're going to double that rod over. I'll tell you why. You need a sensitive tip because if that plug has weeds on it, the stripers are not going to hit it. So you watch the vibration on the rod tip. If it stops, you've got a weed. Reel the lure in and get it back in the water. You don't want to waste crucial fishing minutes with weeds on your lure. And the minutes are crucial. The fish may bite all day long. Typically, the best bites are at the beginning end of the tides and at the slack water period. The time to go looking for fish is in the middle of the tide. You might have a, a one hour window where you can catch fish, so you've got to be ready. If you catch a fish, don't leave. Stay on that spot. Hit it a few more times. You may end up fishing a, a hundred yard stretch of bank for an hour and you may catch fish the whole time. So once you find them, once you find biters, make sure there's not more biters there before moving on. Let's get into the terminal tackle, the end tackle. So here's how I've got this rigged. Probably the best thing to do is just to go like this. So I've got my braided line coming down to a swivel, but I have a, a, a bead on the braided line. That bead does nothing except collect weeds. That will save you from getting weeds on your lure a lot of times. So you want to use a good size bead, color doesn't matter, and then put a swivel on the end of your braid using a Palomar knot. Next is your mono leader. I use 25 pound test. You could use 25, 30, 40, 50, doesn't matter. They're not line shy. You want a leader that's anywhere from 48 inches to 60 inches long, four to five feet long. On the business end, we have our deep running Yozuri, and I have that lure attached with a lock snap, not with a snap swivel. I don't have it knotted on the lure. I have a high quality lock snap. I can change lures very quickly that way if I want to change. You need two lures. You need deep running Yozuri crystal minnows and you need shallow running uh, Yozuri crystal minnows in the large size. And you want to tip them with the white worm. You want that worm on there nice and straight. See how straight that worm is? You want a six to seven inch white worm. When guys tell me, oh, the fish are tearing my worms off. That happens sometimes. What will help that not to happen is to put a little crazy glue on the worm. If you're losing your worms, glue them on. Doesn't matter, won't scare the fish. Here are your setback and speed recipes for success. The deep runner, 12 to 15 feet of water. If you're marking fish in 20 feet of water, you're not gonna catch them on this lure. 12 to 15 feet deep. Spool this lure back and keep testing for the bottom at three miles an hour. When you feel the lure dig the bottom, do two cranks a line and note the line counter. Depending on the distance back, you might be 91 feet from the boat. You might be 87 feet from the boat, but you've just determined the depth for that spot, okay? You want this lure within a foot of the bottom, and that's how you find the bottom when using a deep runner. Get your speed at three miles an hour, get the lure working until it digs the bottom, and then shorten up just a bit, and you'll be right where you want to be. The shallow runner, shallow running Yozuri, right here, this is for water that is from six to eight feet deep. That's it, that's your range, okay? Your speed, five miles an hour, and your setback is typically 130 feet. Remember that, shallow runner, five miles an hour, 130 feet back. Deep runner, three miles an hour, determine the setback by feeling the plug, feeling for that bottom. When it hits the bottom, shorten up, you've got the correct 
depth. Final word. Whenever you're fishing these lures, you want a lip gripper on the boat. You might have a great net. That's all fine and dandy. You need a lip gripper. I get more pictures of people hooked in the springtime striper fishing than at any other time of the year. Um, stripers like to thrash around. Usually it's a shaker that hooks people. So what you want to do, you don't want them dancing around in the bottom of the boat with all these treble hooks on the lure. Get to fish in the net then control the fish with the lip gripper, then start working on the hooks. Get the hook, the fish unhooked, either keep it or let it go or whatever you're gonna do with it. But invest in a lip gripper, it's gonna save you a trip to the emergency room.